Hello, Amy at Hickson's Roofing and Construction. This is Joel from JND SEO. And I'm going to show you three ways that you can improve your website and actually beat your competitors online. So the first thing we'll talk about today is content. And we'll also talk about citations and backlinks. Now, I don't want to waste your time, Amy, so I'm actually going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video, though, you do want to hear more information or have any questions, feel free to reach out. We could just set up like a, a five or ten minute phone call. Um, and if not, no problem. If you guys have someone that already works on the site, you can actually show them the video with a bunch of tips and that that should help them out. All right. So looking at your page here, I just want to see about how many kind of words of content you guys have. And, you know, it looks like you guys probably have maybe two to 300 words of content. Google actually recommends having about 1,500 to maybe 2,000. And to be honest, the reason they want so much is because it kind of helps them out. Uh, because the more content you do have on your page, the more that's going to help people out. It's going to have a lot of education there, useful things. And they know that. And so they would actually encourage you to do that. Therefore, they're going to raise your ranking so that more people can find you a little bit easier and bring those in. The other thing is if you had a blog, those do rank pretty high as well. Now throughout the video, I'm also gonna show you Baker Roofing because if we're talking about moving up in the rankings, why wouldn't we want to look over at one of the ones that's doing it the best in the area and see what they're doing and then we can do something similar. So if we look at Baker Roofing, we're gonna find right away they don't have 15 to 2,000 words here. They don't have 1,500 to 2,000. Um, and they don't have a blog. So that actually is just one way that that makes them a little more beatable. Ideally, if we beat them in the three things that we talk about today, you would beat them in the rankings as well. The other reason it's important to have a lot of content, though, on your page is that the more content you have, the more keywords or keyword phrases you can put into that content. So I put in just a Google search here and I put in roofing Charleston, South Carolina. This search has a good amount of people searching it every single month. It's got good volume. And also it's what new customers search if they're looking for a roofing company in the area. So the first thing they would find would be these ads at the top of the page. Second thing they're going to see is this map pack, also called the GMB or Google My Business. Top three companies are going to show up here based on citations. This is going to bring us to our second topic, which is citations. And citations are just when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. These are sites like HomeAdvisor, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie's List, just to name a few. After the map section, we're going to get to the organic section. We're going to find 10 results that show up in every search. And really, any search on Google that you do, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get 10 results plus ads. So at the very bottom, there'll be some more ads at the very bottom there. And... Um, so these show up in reference to what we searched, so our keyword, Roofing Charleston, South Carolina. So we can rank the results. Number one goes to BakerRoofing.com. Two is going to go to CharlestonRoof.com. Three is going to go to a directory, which is GAF.com. So I want you to remember that there's 10 results per page, because that will come back when we talk about keywords. All right, so I took your website, HicksonsRoofing.com, put it into a program I like to use called Airs. This just allows me to analyze your site, see how it's performing. First thing I notice is that you've got your headers on the top of the page here. Got a couple of keywords as well as your name. And that's a really good thing. This just allows Google to actually find you a little bit easier in searches. So well done with that. All right, and then we'll talk about our third topic, which is backlinks and referring domains. So referring domains are just <clears throat> websites that you have the backlinks on. So these are sites that you have basically, it could be a picture, it could be an, the actual link could be a button and when someone clicks those those links it's going to send them back to your site so for instance i like to use facebook business as an example if you have a facebook business page for hickson's roofing your hickson's roofing facebook business page would be your referring domain then the part where it has your web address and you can put in your link that link would be your actual backlink and when someone clicks that link it's going to send you right to hicksonsroofing.com so that would be one backlink you can have multiple links per site. As you can see, you have 278 on the 40 sites. And the more sites that point back to your site, those are like ref, uh, not well references or they're vouching for you. And Google's going to rank you higher for that. This, this wheel here is actually your trust wheel. And the higher this number gets, the higher you're going to rank in, in um, searches. And it's also going to allow you to be found for more keywords. So right now we can see you guys have a good amount of keywords that you can be found in searches for. 
and you've got 87. Now these are what really bring the visitors in. And right now we can see you're getting about 21 visitors you're averaging per month. So let's take a quick look at the keywords and just kind of see where your visitors are coming from. All right, so the first thing that we see is your business name, Hicks and Roofing. 30 people do search that exactly like that. And uh, you guys are in the top position for that, so that's really good. So we know that the top 10 positions or results will show up on the first page. So ideally, that's where you want to be because 80 to 85% of people will not go to page two. So you might get a couple at the top of page two, but really all the all the visitors are on page one. So for Hicks and Roofing, which is your name, you guys are right up there. And because of that, you're getting 11 actual visitors to your website from the 30. So typically, number one, you're going to get between 20 and 37 percent of the total volume to your site. Um, and then you also this is a really good one for bringing in new customers, roofing contractors, Aiken SC. So you, there's 10 people who search it right now. So not huge on that one. Um, and you guys are number five, so you're going to get just under one of those ten. And it would be higher budget because the volume is low on that one. So if we go to SC Roofing for South Carolina Roofing, 20 people search it. You guys are number ten, so you're getting half. So you guys are probably pulling one or two out of these, these two keywords um, you know, every month or every two months. But most of your traffic or visitors are coming from these top three currently. Because if we scroll down, we see Aiken Roofing number 11, that's page 2.4. Um, and then we got your name again. Let's see. Then we go to, this is a really good one for new customers, Charleston, South Carolina Roofing. 40 people search it. And we can see you guys in number 16, so that's going to give you 0.29 of 1 um, for that one. So what I want to do next is I'm going to actually hop over to Baker Roofing, and I'm going to show you their site. So they've got their, um, for their headers, they got their name as well as some keywords. 1,500 referring domains sending back 19,000 actual links to their site. <clears throat> and that's going to bring them a trust rating of a 48, which means they can be found for just under 5,000 keywords at 4,900. And they're getting over 10,000 actual visitors to their site every month. So let's take a quick look. And because Baker is a little more spread out, I'm actually going to punch in the, uh, the areas that we are specifically talking about. So let's just go to Charleston, South Carolina. So we have 150 on this one. This is a good one. Roofing companies in Charleston, South Carolina. And they are in position one for that. So they're going to actually get 50 of the 150 to their website. Roofing contractors, Charleston, South Carolina, 80 more search that. They're number one for that. So they're going to get 28 visitors from the 80 to their site. So this is just Charleston. But if we kind of scroll down, you can see all the volume that's available in just Charleston right now. And these are all good keywords. So the, this is all the traffic that's available right now that they're getting anyway. And from being number one, but this is what's being searched total. So you can see there's a lot of volume in the area. It's just a matter of getting the right keywords and getting them kind of ranked high enough on that first page, ideally in the top five. So bringing in, you know, three to five keywords, which will be the target in the first few months, you could expect about 100 visitors to your site. That, those would, that would turn out to be about probably 20 to 30 phone calls for you. And that, that would actually, depending on what your ratios are, because everyone's are different, but, you know, um, kind of going on the, the standard for the industry, you know, there should be between at least two and four jobs, maybe on a conservative note uh, per month. All right. And then, so you guys kind of have all the information now. So there's three things you can do. If you guys are happy with where you're at, you don't have to do anything with it. If you guys want to grow and you do want to, um, you know, maybe do a few things to your site, you could talk to anyone that if you guys have ones right now that you currently use, show them the video. It's got some tips in it. Number three, if you guys don't have anyone you currently use, but you do want to grow, it's all sound, made a lot of sense to you. You know, I'm going to call you guys in a day or two just to ask you what you thought of the video and get a little feedback, see if it was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, then feel free to reach out. Um, and if you want to hear more, you know, we can set up a quick five, 10 minute phone call and uh, we can talk more. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.